Hello and welcome to the Dubai International Cricket Stadium. It is Bank Alfala presents Mobilink Jazz Cup and the third one day international between Pakistan and Sri Lanka series is beautifully poised with both teams uh, one all and the toss happened some time ago with the Pakistan captain Ms. Baul Haq winning the toss and deciding to bat an important toss and an important toss to win and uh, well, one change in the Pakistan side. Sohail Tanvir coming in for Chima, while the Sri Lankans have gone in with an unchanged team, of course, maintaining or retaining the winning combination. So Hafiz will be opening the batting. Isn't that the best of run in the series? And we also take this opportunity to wish young Dinesh Chandimal a very happy birthday. He's uh, 22 years today. Dinesh Chandimal and he will be fielding and Imran Farhat opening the batting for Pakistan with Hafiz okay, well, that's his uh, record this fella uh, he's just such an inspiration he did it the other night Monday on this very ground on this uh, very same pitch massive off the mark short and wide Exactly short, but definitely wide. And Imran Farhat loves it in that area. So strong outside the off step, like most left handers are. Well, again, just a little bit of a loosener. Certainly uh, not revving into full pace yet as Lassie. And it just shows also that uh, this surface is a beauty on the walk, on the march. And uh, the third. One international, also the uh, same strip, so it uh, looks a beauty. That's four. That is four. This has been a poor first over by Lasith Malinga. Very unlike him. He's bowled on both sides of the pitch and he's not really let it go. 16 without loss, Pakistan batting first. Is that a Pereira on the leg stamp? But are pretty strong in that area. Kultaranga should catch it just inside. He does, but I'm sure the umpire would want to take a look at it. He'll come back for three. It's more towards the leg stump. He's pushing through mid-wicket. Checking upstairs. Release. No, good work. Really nice stuff. Nice timing of the slide and a little flick back. So, Mariah Rasmus just getting uh, confirmation from uh, Richard Illingworth. But he was telling us that he hadn't played more than 10 balls in the two games. He's already played 14. Now, that wasn't a catch. Definitely, it should be. This is a prayer I didn't expect it. Well, they need to take this. Uh, that was the first real chance. Not easy as he was following through. Definitely. Definite chance. We've just seen Hafiz get wrapped on the hands from Lassie. He's going to uh, repay the bowlers here. Trying to smash the bowlers' hands. Courtesy of the blade coming through. Had no chance with Pereira. That came back uh, rather sharpish. And then the other one. Nicely bowled. Just that little bit of jag off the seam. 19 without loss. Change of bowling. Dilhara Fernando. Well, Sri Lanka's most experienced fast bowler. Oh, the fuller one, it might just shake back in from outside off. Certainly not there. He's just got a bit too straight here, Fernando. And he's paid the price. So, a couple of good deliveries, and then one not so. That's what the Sri Lankans need to guard against. Can't afford to bowl on both sides of the pitch. Dilhara uh, Fernando, been worked very fine. That's because he was sliding down the leg side. Great effort. But once again, just look at it. Going down the leg side after two good deliveries. Now the captain would want you to go keep that pressure around that off stump. It's been a good start for Pakistan. 23 without loss in the first five overs. Tisara Pereira continues. He's been bowling a good length, Tisara Pereira. Just outside the off stump. Oh. 
he's having the right idea, this sort of Pereira, definitely. Now, did that carry? He's been mixing it up well, and he's also made the batsman interested in the drive. Brought the ball in, he's also looked to shape it away. Now, let's see whether he carried. The last ball. His bottom hand coming in just a bit. No, it was well wide of that, but uh, his back was also turned. Still can't beat the field because he's been bowling a tight line around the off stump. And he get in a maiden here. He's a maiden. 23 without loss. Oh, that hit him. That is nasty. That was definitely nasty. It was on Farahat so quickly. That was a nasty blow. Well, let's hope he's all right. He's taken his helmet off. Manfar, don't be surprised. He may should go off for a while. He won't want to, but he may go off for some time. Just look where he is. In fact, not really too far out, but he appeared to be batting just outside the crease. And Dilara Fernando is sharp. Look at that. Just bang on the helmet. Yeah, it was just the bounce, wasn't it? More than anything else, it's the bounce and how quickly it started to get steep. And uh, got to say, he's played it pretty poorly because he's taken his eye off it badly. So Imran Farhat will resume after that fairly nasty blow. Good thing is that he's not abandoned it completely even though there's a man at uh, deep back with square leg Hafiz is still taking the short ball on drives and drives fluently for four that is one cracking drive and a very good response after being hit and jolted by that bouncer from Dilara Fernando this really is a delightful response is it better again just outside the off turn Farad had enough room to hit our extra cover four runs hit really hard he knows that only fielders inside the circle and the two outside especially uh, the wicket was dry there was no game for three days on the up this time is square drives one for four things happening for him run for it two fours of successive balls a little bit of width provided and both time the left-hander cashing in down the leg side, Delara Fernando felt that he had uh, confused the batsman with a slower Yorker. Just drifting down the leg side. Delara Fernando just pulled slower one, going down the leg side. A pack offside feel, especially to Dilhara. So hitting off stump going across the left hand is ideal for Dil Dilhara to do that. Targeting his ribs. So what what is happening there? He gets back in time. A phase in two minds. But no major accidents. On that occasion is 39 without a win. I think his ball a little bit too quicker today. Ah! Are they going for a review? It hit him on the body, missed the pads. Umpire is not interested. Mahela doesn't look too convincing as well. Just a little frustrated. Yes, it was a close thing, but maybe not close enough. But they've gone for a review in favour of the uh, of the uh, of the field inside. So, umpire's call is what we are interested in. So it'll remain as a not out, even though good part of the ball was hitting the off stump. So it'll stay with the officiating umpire there. And uh, well, it's gone in favor of the batting side. Goes back, pulls four. A nerve relaxant ball. Half tracker put away for four. It's 57 without a wicket. No wickets as yet. Run rate just building up because the Pakistani batsmen having played themselves in looking to get on with it this happened in the last ball of the last over 
Osaka picked up early by Hafiz. He likes to sit back in his crease. Picks his spot because... Another easy single, 62 for no loss.